Well, welcome back to Helix Biopharma's channel, innovating with purpose and delivering with urgency to basically uh, score against cancer's biggest and most urgent challenges. And joining to talk about how AI is affecting the pipeline, and we'll get a broad view of the pipeline for newer audiences. Joining Thomas Merling, the Chief uh, Medical Officer. First and foremost, welcome, sir. Hello, Kyle. You know, thank you for giving me the opportunity. You know, to shine a little bit more light on our pipeline and how we're advancing our programs. Yeah, no, I definitely appreciate it, especially in this ever-evolving world of tech that's really advancing the medical space. But firstly, you guys have quite a few, um, you know, indications in your pipeline when it comes to cancer treatments. Uh, do you want to just kind of broad view it real quick for newer audiences? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, um, Helix has a long heritage in building um, uh, products around what is called a target. A target is a protein that's expressed on the surface of a tumor. And Helix IP and know-how centers very much around CCAM6 as a target. So this is a protein that for whatever, for whatever reason is expressed very highly at certain tumors, so such as non-small cell lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancer, even, even some uh, subtypes of ovarian cancer are, um, are expressing this target. And so Helix has embarked now on a wider program uh, to use our know-how um, around CCAM6 to develop what we call antibody drug conjugates. So the lead compound of Helix um, carries a nanobody that recognizes CCAM6 um, on tumors such as lung cancer, and we're developing this to target the tumor microenvironment. So this is the layer around the tumor that actually protects the tumor and shields it you know, from chemotherapy or immuno-oncology therapy. Now, when we, once we had um, you know, a closer look at um, what we know about CCAM6, we have decided to broaden the pipeline by adding more constructs um, to, uh, to our lead compound, LDOS-47. So in total, we are now developing four assets, one of which is particularly exciting, and that's what I would like to tell you more about. Yeah, yeah, definitely bleed into the AI side of this and how it's affecting the pipeline. I think uh, viewers would be fascinated to see exactly like how this technology is uh, really advancing the medical space. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so, you know, we're talking about pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic, pancreatic cancer, sorry, pancreatic cancer is a very, very nasty entity. You know, people um, don't live very long once they are diagnosed. So overall survival um, at five years is somewhere between five and 10 percent of patients. So it's really aggressive. The other thing is that also over the last 20 years, there has not been a major innovation that changes, you know, how we can treat and influence pancreatic cancer because it's um, surrounded by a thick layer of fibrotic tissue. And when I just mentioned, you know, that uh, sometimes tissue around the tumor is shielding it, this is particularly the case for pancreatic cancer. Now to reach the tumor has been really very difficult for a lot of therapies. Our approach um, is now using um, the nanobody technology that where we have a lot of know-how about. These are very small particles. Um, but again, you know, they find CCAM6 and small particles have a very high chance to go through those hyperatic layers and then bind to the tumor and then, you know, doing harm to it. Now, for this to um, you know, be really effective, we obviously need to attach something that is toxic for the tumor. And we have decided that we are going for a construct that carries a radioisotope. Now, everybody has heard about radioisotopes around nuclear uh, medicine and some other things. These are, again, very small particles, and they do emit um, you know, high energy from those radioisotopes that basically almost kills everything. Now, our technology you know, would be um, based on two success factors. One is the nanobody needs to bind very tight to pancreatic cancer. So once you know, it made its way to the tumor, it ne really needs to stick to it. The other thing is that um, these nanobodies are not so easy to make. So some of them um, you know, are, very, you know, uh, are um, bringing very small yields in the manufacturing process. So they, we need to do some optimization there. So you know, we have decided you know, to use one of the mainstream technologies of today to optimize our uh, nanobody. So we're undergoing currently a process, you know, by which we uh, introduce mutations, which are, you know, genes that code for the nanobody. And we want to improve upon, you know, binding and manufacturing. So currently we're looking at some really great constructs uh, coming out of this process. Uh, we're just now starting the process to pick the best one. It's pretty, it's really exciting to see how this technology, you know, makes things really faster and more precise.
Yeah, no, it sounds super fascinating. Uh, nonetheless, as we pass it off to the viewers, we'd love to know what you think in that comment section below. So perhaps we can do a Q&A down the road and consider subscribing for future updates. Um, but on the note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.